Today, we install the TH3D Easy Flex system on a Creality CR10 V2. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So you got the CR10 V2 and it comes with the glass from Creality. Now that glass isn't bad. It's not my favorite surface, but it's not bad. But I tell you what, this is so much better. This is the EasyFlex system with magnet and plate from TH3D. So it comes in two pieces. You have your magnet and your plate. You can get your plate in smooth PEI or this textured powder coated surface. It's very quick. Uh, it's super easy to get prints off of. All you have to do is literally pull the flex plate off the bed, flex it a couple times, and the parts fall right off as long as you let it cool. Besides the quick and easy install, the other thing I really like, in my opinion, uh, this is the best price slash value for your money if you're going to go to a flex system. There are many other ones out there, and everybody has their opinions on which one they like to use. This is the one that I like to use because they back their product. The price is great. And not only that, but it supports a small company. So why would you add a flex plate system to your printer? This could be any printer, whether it's the CR10 V2, the Ender 5 Plus, the Ender 5, the Ender 3s, um, anything. Well, the reason is, is because this makes it so much easier to get your prints off and continue printing. Glass, you have to wait to cool, otherwise you could break your glass. Um, and in this case, you don't have to do that. That's one reason. The other cool thing about this is you do need to wait for these to cool to pop them off easier. So you can just have a couple. So you pop the spring steel off on this side, you throw another sheet down, and you're good to print right away. The other cool thing is you can swap between um, smooth sheets and powder coated PEI sheets. And that one will give you a real smooth surface on the bottom of your print. One will give you a textured surface like the one we're using. Now you can swap between those anytime you want, and that is super awesome. I think these have really made my life so much easier when it's printing. It's not that much money for an upgrade. It doesn't change the mechanics. Yes, you'll need to re-level your bed if you manually level your bed. And uh, if you have a BL Touch, it, just throw this on and let it go. If you have an easy ABL, it should be good to go, but I would just readjust your sensor just to be safe. Um, other than that, it really is a super simple, relatively cheap upgrade that anyone can do. It just takes a few minutes and it'll make your life a lot easier. So let's do it. So this is how your bed comes here. Uh, it comes with these metal clips that hold the glass on. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop those clips open. Sometimes they're stiff, especially if you've never taken your bed off before. Then we're gonna pull the Creality glass up and out of the back clips and set that aside. Now these both have bolts on the top here. Um, there's two here and then there's four in the back. Now what you need to do is unscrew those. So you grab an Allen wrench that comes with the kit here and uh, pliers or a vice grips of some sort and hold on to that nut underneath. Once you're uh, holding on to that nut underneath, just take your Allen wrench and unscrew that bolt. And it's okay if it pops off, just try it a couple times there. Once you get this bottom nut off here, this comes out like this, and the screw pops out like that. So you'll have three pieces, the screw, the nut, and the clip. So personally, I like to put the bolt back through and the nut on and save these, just in case you ever wanna go back. So what you wanna do is do the same thing for this one and these four back here. Now that all the clips are removed, we can take those and set them over to the side. Next, you wanna grab the magnet that came with the kit and Lay it on and make sure you're putting it on in the right orientation. So it's gonna go this way. Then, what you wanna do is just peel back a corner of that sheet like this. I've done a couple other videos about putting these on, so it's pretty easy and you can reference those too. 
but peel back the paper like that. Set it on here. Make sure you're square. So you're perfectly square on there. Everything's lined up. And then press that back corner on where you peeled that. Make sure it's real good and pressed on there. Like this. Then all you have to do is go underneath, peel a little bit more of that paper, lift this up, peel some more paper back, and on the front, just start pushing it down as you peel it back. So you'll be pushing it down, making it nice and smooth, coming underneath, peeling some paper, laying it down slowly, and then just push it in like this. Just like that. If you do this slow enough, you won't get any bubbles. So grab some more, then push it towards here. Make sure it's all tight on there. And at this point, you can actually just kind of pull the paper out and just do little bit by little bit. So you're doing this, you're pushing it down, making sure it's tight, pulling it back a little like this, making sure it's tight, pulling it back. Got to the end here, as you can see, and now all I'm doing is pushing it through like this, just making sure there's no bubbles, really slow, and then right to that end like that. Toss that paper to the side, and then all you have to do is just work it in, make sure it's tight. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Uh, as far as, you know, if you're a little bit further on this side than this side, that's, that's okay as long as your plate is covered. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything because your printer is not gonna print off that edge anyway. So, so now that you have the magnet installed, it is super easy. You take your flex plate, you put it right here, you line it up, and you just let it flex down. And that is it. Now your flex plate uh, is installed. This is the EasyFlex 2 system. Wipe this down with a microfiber and some uh, IPA. Get it nice and clean, and you are ready to print. Now you've taken the Creality glass, removed it, took off the uh, brackets, and installed the EasyFlex 2 flex system from TH3D. Like I said, it's super simple. This thing is actually pretty heavy, so that's another benefit is that you lose the weight of the glass slinging back and forth on your bed. Full disclosure, TH3D did provide me with this EasyFlex 2, although I've purchased other ones from them myself. This particular one was given to me for this video. I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button right down here if you haven't already, and uh, the little bell right over here if you wanna get notified when the next videos or live streams come up. You guys rock.